equation of the circle. Okay, and these problems were given a center and we are told a point that is on the circle. So we're going to have to use a couple of formulas in the background. One is going to be our midpoint formula. Oh, no, no midpoint formula, my error. We're going to have to use a knowledge of what the equation of a circle is, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So that's the, uh, the equation of a circle in general. And then we're also going to need a little bit of distance formula here in order to locate the radius. So recall that the distance formula is uh, based off the Pythagorean theorem and it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So there's our little reference, uh, reference set of information. So in this problem we're told the center which is of course the h and the k that comes from the formula for the equation of a circle and then we're told a point that is on the circle. So we're going to calculate the distance between the center and the point that's on the circle by doing a distance formula. So we'll go x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, where I'm getting the x1 and the y1 as the coordinates of the center as my first point, and the x2 and the y2 as the coordinates of the other point, the point that is lying on the perimeter of the circle. So now we have radical 1 minus negative 1 is 2 squared plus 1 minus 3 which is negative 2 squared and so we're getting that the distance is equal to the radical of 4 plus 4 which is equal to the square root of 8. Now normally I should simplify radical 8 into a 2 rad 2 but I'm not going to do that here because the formula for the equation of a circle has an r squared in it. So our final answer here is going to be x minus the x-coordinate of the center, so it's x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center, which is 3 squared, and that's going to be equal to the radius, which is rad 8 this time. Oh, sorry, the, the distance is rad 8, so that's the radius, but we're going to square it, so I'm just going to leave the number 8 over here. So in a final simplified form, we would probably say x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals to 8. Okay, so why don't you pause the video with this little bit of knowledge here and see if you can do the next problem. Find the equation of a circle centered at 2, 1 with containing the point negative 1, 5. So first step again, let's do a distance formula to figure out the radius, to determine the radius. And in this case, we'll get x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. We're getting x1, y1 from here, and x2, y2 from here. This is equal to the square root of negative 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 9 plus 16, or the square root of 25, which is just 5. So the equation of the actual circle will be x minus x1, that center's coordinate of 2, plus y minus 1, which is the y coordinate of the center equals the radius 5, but that's squared to be 25, and there's our final answer. x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals to 25.